Hi guys, it's Emily. Now, welcome back to my channel. And once again, and as usual, I am back with another very boring, but hopefully a very helpful anxiety talk. Now, obviously, as all of us in the UK, on Thursday, we're all into lockdown again. So, to tell you the truth, guys, I'm obviously, like, not happy about it because I was, um, sorry guys, one second, just on Netflix. Um, yeah, so I was not feeling, like, happy with it because, um, everything was finally getting back to normal for me. I was experiencing a bit, a bit more, like, like, normality and stuff. I was finally, like, um, going back to dance normal again. But, um, we are going back again. And starting from this week, but I don't know what's going to happen from then on. We probably will have to do it online again. So therefore, I'm like, oh my god. I've been having like so many mixed emotions and um, this video is like my um, worries over this COVID because, um, yeah, I've been having like mixed emotions. I've been feeling like scared that I've been like losing the plot. I've been um, going back to like washing again, like every, every single wear in the house. Um, I've been like upset because I feel like people don't understand my anxiety on this and like the worst thing is is that I've been um, every time that like, I try and get myself out of the house just to go into a shop or something I get so aggressive like with people because I mean I see them like walk about and they're inside a shop wearing a face covering now I hate wearing face coverings like it does not uh, excuse me does not make me feel happy it doesn't make me feel comfortable it really makes me feel so uncomfortable and the horrible bit is, is that I don't know why I feel so uncomfortable like wearing it probably because like you know like you see them in hospitals you see them in like dentists and everything and it's just so horrible to see and it's like when they did that announcement that like I think starting back from August or something that they would force you to wear a face covering so I was like, fine then, you do that to me, I will not appear in the shops. And what really like angers me a lot is that when you're about to go into a shop and there are people there standing, like looking at you, making sure you are wearing a face, a face covering. Now that makes me like very aggressive because it's like, for God's sake, this is not fair. This is really out of order. I know it's supposed to keep people safe, but I therefore do not like it. Now I wish, that I could like wear that badge thing that people wear around their neck because they've got a health condition or something. I therefore do not have a health condition. I did suffer with a mild form of asthma as a child, but I've obviously like grown, grown out of it now. But, and like some people like, I don't know if it was, if, it, if this is even true or not. Some people like did say to me, you can, you know, not wear a face covering on transport or in a shop because of your mental health. Now, I therefore like kind of like disagree with that because I feel like, I mean, as a mental health victim, I have to like be more responsible about life. And I think that's what we all need to do. You know, we obey the rules. We um, just have to like try and cope with it. Like, you know, like we've always done. So, but um, yeah, so the way I see it, that's just like an excuse, like, I mean, I can't just like walk up to people and say, oh, I'm wearing this because I have bad anxiety. And it's like, well, other people have like serious health conditions that they need to cope with. And I would say like battling like mental health and health conditions are like just so hard to like battle at like the same time. So yeah, therefore I just, just disagree with that to be honest. But um. Yeah, I hate wearing a face covering because, again, it makes me feel like I'm losing myself. And, like, the fact how it, like, protects your face as well. It's, like, you can't tell if, like, people are happy. Nobody can see me being happy. Um, even though my mum says, like, oh, I know you're happy because I can see in your eyes. And, like, I try and think like that, but it does not work for me whatsoever. And I really do it really does make me feel like I'm losing myself. So... Yeah, and like the horrible part is that with this winter coming up, now that we're like in November now, and the problem is that we're all on, on like lockdown for about four weeks. Knowing our luck, obviously like me not being a psychic, but it just looks so obvious. 
I fear and feel like this is not gonna freaking last until the 2nd of December. I feel like it's gonna last like probably until April next year or something. So, and that's what I worry so much because like I knew we would be in lockdown again. And there's my family saying, no, no, that's never gonna happen. That's never gonna happen. And it does happen. And it's like, I freaking told you, didn't I? And you kept saying to me like, oh no, it's not like that. And the annoying thing is that the fact that I've been so aggressive with like people walking into a shop, cause it's like, obviously now I've mentioned like, hey, we're in a face covering, but with other people there, it's like, they wear it and they just don't care. And it's so weird, it's like, Oh my God, how can you not care? How, how on earth are you not used to it? I would like to get used to it, but no, that is never gonna happen. And the reason why I say that is because, geez, how awkward and weird and scary it's gonna be when all this ends. And I feel like, geez, is it ever gonna end? And what I hate is like when people are so against me. Now, I've posted on like social media about how how much I hate wearing face coverings and how much I'm done with them and how much like other people have like dying of other serious like illnesses rather than COVID. Now lots of people were like against me on that and that really did make me angry because it's like what part of my anxiety and my aggressive moment don't you understand? So like the last time that I went out um and like the annoying thing about it is that when you're in a shop they have to like block out other different places so you have to go a different way or like a long way around. Now that is like frustrating for me because it's like, oh my God, you know what I mean? And it's just so frustrating. Like, are you freaking stupid or what? Like, yeah, I understand that we're in a serious crisis, but this needs to stop. But of course, like, we can't, so. Yeah, I've not had um, a very good couple of weeks with this because I mean, the only thing is, is that I even like, said to myself, like as soon as I got home, I thought, right, that's it, I am done. I don't wanna go to another shop anymore. I can't stand it anymore. It's not making me feel happier. It's making me feel a lot more aggressive. I do not like it. Cause it's like when, cause I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I've had moments where like, I usually shout in public. Now I spoke about this live on TikTok and one person went, why enough are you shouting in public? And I am like, oh, let me tell you this. Because I mean, the fact that, that you know what I mean? Like you can't, yeah, you're wearing a face covering throughout the whole time. You can't even like enjoy yourself. You have to be careful. And it's like, oh my God, like what part? And obviously you know, like the anxiety kicks in. And it's like you're trying so hard to fight the anxiety. And and it's like, geez, if you don't fight the anxiety, like if you do try and fight it, that's when like the anger kicks in. And then that's when I get so bad tempered. So it's really hard for me to do that. Um, yeah, so I decided, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. And now that like the shops are closing again, uh, the pubs and the restaurants are all closing again. So therefore that probably means my local theatre that I work out, they're closing again. <laughs> so, and I, I've had bad anxiety over it thinking, oh my God, they don't want me back. They don't want me back. Thank God I finally got told, yes, they do want me back. The only problem is, is that they had to keep a limited number of staff because they have um, a bar, they have a restaurant and upstairs is where we have the theatre. So, yeah, and they're, they're obviously gonna close again. So I don't, I don't know if this is gonna last again because I mean, I was so hoping, I was thinking to myself, if I'm lucky, I might be able to come back in December, but I don't I don't really know and stuff like that. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen. But I even said to my boss that before we went into lockdown that when all this stops, I will come back and I still want to come back because I miss it so much. The thing about my local theatre is that I performed there when I was 13, I um, or 14. I think I was 13, yeah, I was 13. And we um, did Guys and Dolls. I um, played three small characters. And I have to admit, it was crap because I was not happy like playing a small part. I did not like, I have to admit, I hated that theatre at that time because I did not like performing in it. But um, 
And the, be the best thing about that was that I um, even did ballet classes when I was about five years old. And when I um, started working there again, it really brought back that most amazing memories of like me putting on my ballet shoes, trying to fit in, but I couldn't, I was too shy. And obviously do, like thinking back to like when I was doing that show, it really brought back that memory. And thinking about it now, it's like, oh, it wasn't that bad. It was just, it was good. So, and the best thing about it was like, we um, did a show, it was a Christmas show. I was obviously downstairs doing um, the front house and I was opening doors to everybody, like saying, come on in, Merry Christmas and stuff like that. And there was this man who, um, I don't know what he is, but every time I see him, like he would, he would dress up as a random character. Anyway, um, I need to stop because I'm not really talking about that. But yeah, so I guess you guys can understand my frustration and obviously the anxiety with this worry over the lockdown because I mean worst of all like they keep saying oh it's gonna be even more deadlier than before because we was in the spring when it happened and now that we're heading to winter that's like the main worry as well so I've been worrying about my mom especially because she's um, a key worker she's been a key worker for five years now um in Iceland by the way and but um no she tells me that you know she keeps her face covering on she wears the gloves and she is very well protected she always like comes home washing her hands um and this shows like how i think i might have ocd with this but i always wash my hands before i go to sleep and as soon as i wake up in the morning and after i've had my breakfast i am trying so hard to stay hygienic because it's making me feel like i'm losing the plot and what bothers me a lot more is that, oh my God, what if, um, I think everyone in like the anxiety world will definitely like feel for this, even us people with health anxiety, a lot of us would feel, oh my God, no matter how hard I'm washing my hands or if I'm wearing a face covering, I'm wearing gloves, I'm trying to keep my distance. I think we all fear this is not working. And the problem with that is that when um, Boris did um, tier one, tier two, tier three, we was um, in tier two at the time. And so that's what really freaked me out. Cause I was like, oh my God, what the hell is going on? Like we're all doing what we're told. Why is it not working? So, but, um, and then like when Boris did his announcement, I think it was the other day, he um, obviously showed us all like the, the charts. Now I live in um, the Southeast of England. So seeing those charts were quite low. That kind of like reassured me a little bit cause it wasn't that bad. It was obviously in the Northwest. But what frustrates me a lot more is that, geez, you feel like the whole entire world is being punished. It's like you're in school, one person does a bad thing, and yet the whole entire classroom suffers of punishment because of that situation. And it's like, geez, the Northwest cases are like rising, probably because there's so many like un universities there. And the um, whole entire nation is being in lockdown because of that problem. And like, that's what really like bothers me because it's like, oh my God. So the tears have not worked. This is obviously not gonna work either. Like, I mean, you know, we're in lockdown, so this is pathetic. And another thing that I get so rounded up about is that a lot of people tell me you can't Google because there are fake news everywhere. But it's like with me, I mean, as much as I try hard not to, I have to look at it. I have to know what's going on because I mean, watching like the news it just it bores me out all the time so I get like oh this is boring and like, I can't understand it and it's like they don't they don't seem to understand it either they don't know what they're talking about so every single um, day I try and like you know look up like google trying to look up the deaths and it's been scary because like, it's been going up and up and it feels like oh my god this is never getting easier is it and yeah I get very frustrated with it I get anxiety and it's just not fair so I feel like, oh my God, when is it all gonna bloody end? But um, what bothers me the most is that I feel like this is never gonna freaking end or anything. So it's like, oh my God. But um, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. Like I still worry all the time, but I feel like I'm trying so hard to stay at home and stuff. I mean, I felt the more that my family and I stay at home, we're all okay. 
Um, but yeah, and the fact is, is that when um, I try and say to myself, I've had these symptoms before, I just like go, yeah, and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to end it there, guys, because I've been talking for over like 15 minutes now. Um, I hope that you guys found this a little bit relatable. And if you guys want to have um comment your problems with it and, you know, feel that you're not alone on this, then yeah, please do. I'm not too sure about whether to do the most rarest and forgotten kids shows. I will definitely do that, maybe in the near future. Um, Because I, I, I love it when you guys come up and you're like, I come up and I'm like happy and I'm all smiley, but rather than just giving you a boring anxiety talk and I'm not feeling with it and, and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna end it there guys. I will see you very soon and hopefully we will be okay.